All right. Sorry, brothers and sisters. Oh, man, it's been a day right here. We ain't never had one of these days in a long time, but it's been a day right here today. All right, so we're going to continue back. Let's go back. We're going to rewind it a little bit for the little part that y'all missed. Uh, let's start with Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 2 again. Wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha, chapter 13, verse 2. Read. But deemed either fire or wind, or the swift air, or the circle of the stars, or the violent water, or the light of heaven, to be the gods which govern the world. Is that it? Verse 2. Alright. So, now. No, start with one. I, was, I, I meant one. Okay. The book, uh, book of Wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha, chapter 13 and verse 1. Surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of God's done, and could not out of the good things that are seen know him that is. Neither by considering the work did they acknowledge the work master, which is God, but deemed either fire which or is wind, Christ, brother, go ahead, read, or the swift air, or the circle of the stars, or the violent water, or the lights of heaven, to be the gods which govern the world. So God didn't put those things there to be gods, to govern the world. All right? Now watch this. I want to, I want to talk about this point right here. He says, The deem either uh, either fire or wind or swift air or the circle of the stars. Do y'all everybody understand that the stars are circle? Mm -hmm. So why do we saw got the stars looking like pointed? Why they got those like that? But the size, God said the size is what? Circle. See what I mean? Those are the things that you got to consider. And then our brothers is over here wearing uh, the, yeah, the star. Yeah. So, now for God, watch this. Give me Revelation chapter 18, verse 2. So we're not supposed to serve those things, but watch this. Read what you got. Revelation chapter 13, verse 2. Revelation chapter 13. And verse 2. The most important thing that I wanted y'all to get out of that is what at the beginning of it, God said men are ignorant because they don't know him. Right? That's what I'm verse 18 and 1. That's the most important thing. Watch this. Read. It says, And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet, Revelations 18 and 2. 18 and 2. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. You see that? Every, every unhateful and unclean bird. So here in Babylon, why, why are we talking about this? Jump over to verse 21. Watch this. Revelation 18, verse 20, 23. Verse 23. It says, And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. So the light, the light of the candle shall shine no more in thee. You know, they got that Statue of Liberty when you first come in. And it stays all shining, right? Mm -hmm. Also, what else is always on in America? Street what? Street lights. They lights ain't gonna shine no more in there. But watch what God says. Go ahead with the, the bride, the bride. Read that again. It says, the voice the voice. It says, and the voice of the bridegroom. And the voice of who the bridegroom? We are. Christ. 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 Okay, yes. So the voice of Christ, read. It says the voice of the bridegroom. So the voice of Christ and of the bride. And of the who's the bride? We are. We are Israel. Uh-huh. Shall be heard no more at all in thee. So you ain't heard the teachers of God no more in this place at all. Because we read in Revelation, Revelation 18 to 2 saying what? Read the first part. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, 
Babylon the great is falling, is falling, and it's become the habitation of devils. See that? Now let's go back. Verse 23. Revelation 18, 23. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. Read. And the voice of the bridegroom, the, the voice of Christ, and of the bride shall be heard no more at all. And, and we're not going to be teaching no more in Babylon the Great. Read. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. Watch this. For by thy sorcery. So you see, now, now we start to understand why it was called spiritual Egypt. Now we start to understand why it was called spiritual Egypt. Just like Egypt had Ra and the eye of Horus and those other fake gods, Seth and all those fake gods, so do America got with a uh, with a uh, medical, with a science, technology, their technology. All that is sorcery. The TVs. All that is sorcery. Because on the news channels, they will make you uh they will when something happens, they all report it. Oh, it's a pandemic, it's a pandemic, it's a pandemic, it's a pandemic. And they're hitting with you with it 24 hours a day. Now everybody's in an uproar. Everybody's scared. Everybody wearing masks. Everybody wearing gloves. <laughs> no, nobody. Look, I see people in their car by themselves wearing masks. Wear mask. What the hell is that? By themselves. By themselves in their own car wearing a mask. Because they had them in panic mode. Yeah. They still do that. Mm -hmm. They still do that. So by thy sorceries, when you see them, they can replace legs, like I was saying before we cut off. They can replace legs. They can re they can they can replace hearts. They can replace uh, uh, gen 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 genitals genitals. They can replace the women's vagina. They can give a woman uh, uh, a rod and give a man a vagina, a fake one. That's sorcery. They can take a man and they can enlarge your private area. That's sorcery. Because what God gave you, they they call themselves enhancing. They call themselves making it better. So God didn't give you no big booty. So he so the devil will give you a big booty through their sorcery. God didn't give you big lips, so the devil will give you big lips through their sorcery. You gotta remember that. Because they sit back and they think that they are saving lives. Now we need the uh, hospitals, no one's saying that. Mm -hmm. But they better start giving glory to God, thus says the Lord, and start giving glory to themselves. Yeah, they, they, they want doctors to cosmetically change their appearances. Yes. Yes. Where you should not be doing it. Right. You should be happy with the way you look, the way God made you. Because guess what? At the end of the day, the way God made you is the way you're going to be when you're back in the world, when you're out of this world anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they change it in. People that change that, you know that they, they don't love God. And because they don't love they what? They self. They self. They self. They don't love God because they don't love they self. Give me Isaiah chapter 57, 3 and 4. Could have been almost done. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 3, verse 4. Y'all forgive me of all the problems today. That's my fault. I did all that myself. Watch this. Isaiah 57, verse 4. 3 and 4. Three and four, yes. The book of Isaiah, chapter 57, verse 3. But draw near hither, ye sons of the sorcerers. So God is talking to America. He's talking to Babylon the Great, which is America. And he said, draw hither, 
ye sons of sorcerers. Come out. The seed of the adulterer and the whore. The seed of the adulterers and the whores. Come out. Against whom do you support yourself? Against whom you, you ridicule yourself, you mock yourself. Come on. Against whom make ye a wide mouth? Free and dry of the tongue. Are ye not children of transgressions? Hold on. So what God say? Are ye not children of transgressions? Are y'all not children of transgressors? Come on. A seed of falsehood. See, those people are a seed of falsehood. Those people are a seed of falsehood. That's why he said it through their sorcery. They draw hither the sons of sorcery. Who's the sons of sorcery? We just read about them. Who was it? Babylon. The seed of adult, adulterer, 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 <laughs> and, uh, er, and whore. Hold on, how do they, hold on. They are seeds of adulterers and whores. Mm. Let's see who God got that in the scriptures. Let's give me, uh, what is that? Hebrews, 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 Hebrews 12. I got frustrated. Hebrews 12, watch this. <laughs> Hebrews 12. <laughs> Verse 16. The book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. So you know profane means not sacred or biblical, meaning godless. So God is saying the so-called white man, which is Esau, God is saying they godless. This is not my words. Who words is this? God. So God says, they says, if there be any fornicator, Meaning a person who sleeps, an adulterer, or a profane person, not sacred or biblical, meaning godless. Read. As Esau. As Esau, the so-called white man, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For one morsel of food sold his birthright. Watch this. But you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. He was what? He was rejected. So Esau was rejected of God back then, and he's rejected of God right now. Why do you think he's doing the things that he's doing to us? Why do y'all think he's doing all the atrocities to the black folks? Because they understand that they, the, the upper echelon understands of them that they are rejected of God. Why do you think they got to do sorcery? Why do you think they believe in ghosts? Why they believe in fairy tales? Why they believe in Harry Potter? Because all of that is sorcery. Divination is what they live off of. That's all they got. That's all they got. The lucky rabbit foot. They brought us to that garbage. We didn't know nothing about no damn rabbit foot. We, according to us, the, the rabbit is what? Unclean. We was brought up knowing the rabbit was unclean. Who said the lucky rabbit foot? Right. The white man. So what God called unclean, he said, no, no, no. Uh -uh. He's lucky. He's lucky. Uh -uh, brother. No, you got to listen to me, brother. God says he turned it around with, and then they start using these big damn words which you don't understand. Like that court system. Yeah, I'm going to get on this for a minute. I'm going to get on this for a minute. Like that court system. They got, how do you pass laws that the people of the land don't understand? You got to go through a court system. You got to go through a law system. You got to go to school. You got to learn these words to be in a law. Just to pass the bar. You got to be like a damn lightweight genius. Not a genius, but a lightweight genius. Meaning you got to be real damn smart. You know why you got to be smart? Because when you play their games, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to show y'all something. When you go into their law, you got to, you know why you got to get a lawyer to go to court over simple stuff? 
Because they law, you don't understand. You can read it and be like, what the hell is that? Where they understand it. Let me show y'all what I mean. Mm. Give me Exodus chapter 20. Give me Exodus chapter 20. Give me verse 8. Let me show y'all something real simple. Watch how God works. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. It says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Come on, Jesus. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Read that the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt do thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy sons nor thy daughters, thy man servants nor thy maid servants, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Read for six days the Lord made the heaven and earth. Hold on, so he's giving you an explanation. He's explaining to you why you don't do it. Read. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, free the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day in house. You saw now, God, look, how, how hard was that to understand? That's why when our people say they don't understand what we're saying, they are damn lie. Because that's not hard to understand, is it? No. It's not hard to understand. Give me, um, Give me 13. Verse 13. The book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. It says, Thou shalt not kill. Give me 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Give me 15. Thou shalt not steal. Give me 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Give me 17. Thou shalt not covet. Stop. Thy... How hard is those? But Esau, you got to go to a law school. You got to go through four years of regular college. Then you got to go through eight years of another college just to be a damn lawyer or prosecutor. Right. You got to learn all these difficult words. But how easy was God's words? Thou should not do this. Thou should not do that. How easy was it? Why do they law don't say like it? Why do Esau law says if you will pay child support or uh, if we're going to send money to other children, in the law it should state, hey, we're going to send this money. If you make this money or your kid get emancipated, your money going to go over here, go over there. Why we don't understand the law? But uh, hold on. That ain't the kicker. Who's the law supposed to be made for? Who's the law supposed to be made for, brother? Brother. For the people. For who? For the people. How the hell is the law made for the people if I gotta have a lawyer to break it down for me? Which the law is supposed to be made for me to keep me safe, but I don't understand the damn law. Uh oh. Uh oh. So why is the law so difficult that a regular man can't understand it? And why when they pass legislations do they not send it out to the people or announce it on the uh, TVs? And meaning exactly how the law they not explaining to you how the laws go. They just making up laws. And but God's in the Bible. Every one of God's laws got a, it, it explains itself. Right. It explains itself. But man law don't explain itself. You know why? Because it's set up as a design to destroy you. Everybody know I'm telling the damn truth. Mm -hmm. Nobody still know why we got the RS, the FBI, the CIA. Why we got all these damn different organizations? Why they just ain't got no one, just one organization that does all this? Because through their law, they can finagle different things do different uh, departments. Oh, we didn't know about that over her. We didn't know they was doing that to you. Oh, okay, we didn't know they was doing it to you over <laughs> Each one of them going to play good cop, bad cop. So it's designed, it's a trap period. Everybody know I'm not lying. That's where even they people know I'm not lying. Simple laws like jaywalking. Who really knows what jaywalking is? Raise your hand if you can explain to me jaywalking. It's saying if you don't cross the street, but what do it mean? 
See, you can't even, that's a simple law. Jaywalking is you're not supposed to cross the street. Uh, you're supposed to cross the street within the crosswalk when the light is for you to walk. What would you explain that at this school? You know how we found out these laws? When we get in trouble. Huh? When we get in trouble. After somebody got locked up for it or got a ticket for it. That's when we explain. That's how we found out what the law means. Go ahead. I was sitting there thinking of some as you was going on with it. Um, something real quick and simple. Uh, but somebody creates a game. And they say you got, in a game, you got rules. Yeah. The only way to know how to play that game good is know the rules. So they set up things by, with their rules. If you don't know their rules, you can't play the game. How can you know their rules? You can't know them. How about, how about you illiterate? Yeah. How you going to know their rules? See what I mean? Yeah. So they rules, it's, it's unfair. Even for an intelligent man, they rules, it's unfair. And when you was going into the attorney thing, then you need an attorney that understands the To interpret, to, yeah, interpret what they doing. Right. Else you going to lose all the time. There's no win. And then, but the attorneys out here is crooked. They agree with the, they playing prosecutor and attorneys playing games. I let you win this when you let me win that one, man. This is playing out. He's really important, man. Let me go and get this money from him. Woo So they don't let him win. So God, give me, uh, give me, uh, uh, Acts 10 and 34. Acts 10, let me see, make sure it's 34. I might be a little bit off. It might be a little higher. Acts 10 and now I'm on it. Read it. Acts 10 and 34. Yeah. The book of Acts chapter 10 verse 34. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. So God don't have a respecter of persons. You either do his laws and keep them or you don't do his laws. And, and, and die. You do his laws and live, you do his laws and, or don't do his laws and die. God's not a respect of a person. Where these people have respect of persons, they even when you write, you go in the courtroom, you're wrong. They're going to manipulate their system to make sure you're wrong. That's why when Christ told uh, and for us at the end, he said, when you go into their courts, let's, let's get that in Revelation. Where's it at? Revelation 2 and verse 10. Hold on. Let me make sure. No, that ain't what I want. Hold on. I'm sorry. That ain't revelation. I was tripping. This is my pupils. Let me get there though. Somebody help me out. I'm looking for when Christ said, I think it's Matthew 24 somewhere. Uh, he was saying, when you go into court, I mean, when you go in front of the uh, people, don't speak. Don't say nothing. I'm going to give you the word what to say. And something like that, I'm quoting. It ain't exactly what he said, but... Don't think of what to say. Mm -hmm. I will give you. I 
I'll give you somebody somebody Google that for me. I ain't got time to say all day. Don't think of what to say, but I will give it to you. I thought that might have been in 1910. When they persecute. Look it up, officer. Look it up. Okay, Matthew's 10 and 19. Yeah, it was Matthew's 10. You're right, officer. Yeah. I mean, the verse 18. Ten, eighteen. Yeah. The book of Matthew, chapter ten, verse. Start with seventeen. Seventeen. Beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogue. Read. And you shall be brought before governors and kings for my for my sake, for a testimony against them in the Gentiles. For a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Watch this. Read. Verse nineteen. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. Read. For it shall be given you in that time, in that same order, in that same hour, I'm sorry, what ye shall speak. So it shall be given you that same hour what you should speak. Watch this. For it is not ye that speak. Watch this. But the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. You see that? So that's why, that's why he told us don't speak. Don't speak nothing when you go in their courts. Because guess what? They're going to try to manipulate you. Through their, through their words. And this is what these people do. Why you think they law and all that? Why you think it's so hard? Yeah. Why do, if, if, if you want people to do good, why would you make the law so hard where people don't even understand the damn laws? Right. You 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 putting in new legislations, but ain't and you ain't sending out no paperwork to all America so they can know what the hell is going on in your legislation. Go ahead. Let's grab the council. Yes, let's grab the council. They, they mean that thing. They mean to do that. Because they want you to all, keep sitting. All by design. All by design. You believe it or not, even them damn police, half of them don't even know the law. They don't know all the law. <laughs> yeah, you was police, so you know you know. You like, I didn't know all the law. <laughs> See what I mean? So how the hell is the police locking people up for the law? What do they use? The police is just using common sense. I'm not saying that some of them might not know the, some of the law, but they use it common sense. Basically, they give you a book and say, "Who read this?" You know, you learn enough of the common stuff. You know, the, otherwise, that's why you take somebody to jail. There you go. <laughs> let let the jury sort it out. Let them sort it out. That's all. It, 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 it's, it's just it's evident that they do that. Where was we at before we started right there?
Give me second Corinthians. I mean, first Corinthians chapter five, verse seven. I'm going to, go, go ahead. The book of First Corinthians, chapter five and verse seven. I'm gonna cut some of this class because it messed up twice, and I can't really get back into it. So I will we'll pick it up next week. Go ahead, read. It says, purge out therefore the old leaven. Purge out therefore the old leaven. Second Corinthians, first Corinthians chapter two, verse five. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse five. My fault. I said five and seven, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter two and verse five. But if any have caused grief, he has not he has not grieved me. But I was George. My bad. First Corinthians chapter two and verse five. Go ahead. Chapter two, verse five. There we go. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, Read. but in the power of God. Come on. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect? So we speak wisdom amongst men that is perfect. Watch this. Yet not the wisdom of this world. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world, nor the princes of this world that come to not that comes to nothing. What he means by that? Who is the princes of this world? Now watch this, brothers and sisters. Give me Romans chapter thirteen, verse one. Y'all remember I told y'all we was gonna visit this in the class. Romans chapter thirteen, verse one. The book of Romans. Chapter 13 in verse 1. Yes, sir. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. Read. For there is no power but of God. You see, God is the highest power. But watch what God says. It says the powers that be. See, the powers that be is who's ruling this earth right now. The so called white man. He's ruling the earth. There's no clue about it. That's not a racist statement. Should nobody be upset about that statement? Because the white man is rich in all continents. He's rich. He's rich in, in Europe. He's rich uh, 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 in Africa. He's rich in America. He's rich in uh, 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 Hawaii because he owns Hawaii. He's rich in Canada. He's rich, rich in South America. He's rich in all. Continents. Am I lying? No. So who's the power? They are. The power that be. God allowed them to rule in this what? In this world. In this world. When you look at Russia, Russia rules over there. They're a powerhouse. Then you got their brother America. Well, you got Europe, Britain. Yeah. Then you got America. Them are all powerhouses. When you got Ukraine and Russia, them is brothers fighting each other. That's all it is, just brothers. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't drop the bomb on them, because well, I guess that's my little brother. If I drop the bomb on them, I'm dropping the bomb on myself. So I'm going to beat them up a little bit, but just some, kill some of their people. I'm not going to wipe them out. Them are my peoples. I just want them to bow down to me. That's what that's what he's saying. That's what Putin's saying. Big bro, big bro, yeah, big bro said, I gotta put knots on your head. I need you to come over with me. That's what he's saying. But then you got the other brother over here in the United States. He's the other big brother. He said, No, I'm gonna protect you from them. I'm gonna give you this and that and that and this and that and this and that and that and that and the fight against him. But the big brother over here, no. If the big brother over there drop nukes on little brother, yeah. it's over. He knows it. But they know they play those games. Yeah. They not gonna do that. Why didn't the United States drop the bomb on uh uh uh, uh Germany? Not Germany, uh, uh who was Hitler? Who was Hitler? Oh, Germany. Germany. Was it Germany? Why did the United States drop the bomb on, on Germany? Why? We go into, we go into some history. Why? Probably because they the same people. Thank so, you. Yeah. So, they the same 
dead people. Some of them live nowhere. Bruh. But who did they go drop the bomb on? Nakasaki and yeah. Hiroshima. Yeah. Oh, oh, because them are not your what? They ain't they, 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 they people. So why did they give Russia that same, I mean Germany that same demonstration? Because it was not their people. That's why they dropped it on the Japanese. So let's just let's just let y'all know something, man. Look at your history. These are the same people. Yeah, they might fight it out. Like brothers fight. Brothers, brothers in the world fight. Biological brothers, they fight. Yeah. Put knots on each other's head, but you're not supposed to kill your brother. You're not supposed to shoot your brother or stab your brother, but you put knots on his head. Just to teach him a lesson. But then you won't even, you're not gonna go too far. You just want to rough them up a little bit and let them know, don't play with me, boy. Especially if, he, if, they, if it comes to a big brother and the little brother disrespecting the mama, the big brother going to come over and tear his butt up. Then let him know, don't, hey, boy, don't talk to mama like that no more, boy. Well, that's what's going on over here in Ukraine. So what we said to you is this. Where was I at? I was just, I lost it. Where was I at? Romans, what is that? Romans 13 talking about the powers that be. Oh, the powers that be. So we know that Russia, God make God, we know the United States, Babylon the Great, mm -hmm. the Chinese, we know they all the same people. We know that. They know that. When you look at all these nations where our people is, and when you even get into the other nationalities, the other uh, parts of the Gentiles, like the Arabs, like the uh, like the uh, Palestinians, like the uh, like the Chinese, the Japanese, in all these countries, we are mistreated in all these countries. When you Afro, whatever country you in, you Afro uh, Japan, Afro Chinese. Afro Arab, wherever we at, we are getting beaten and mistreated in these countries. We we and we have to extra, we have to we have to go extra to fight for rights in every country, and it might be doing in different ways. It's hands up, don't shoot, mm -hmm. or it's uh, Black Lives Matter in every country. In this world, the Negro is going through it. Yeah. Even you know this, I never even knew this when I was younger. But when you see them Africans be fighting like that, it's because you got two different. You got the Negroes and the Africans fighting two different people. They don't like them. When you look, real Africans don't like us. And we don't like them either. But they are blending them in. Yeah. So tough that you, they don't know who they are no more. Some of them do. Some of them still don't. Mm -hmm. What was you going to say? Okay. So the power didn't be. Watch this come out. It says uh, Romans chapter 13 verse 1. 2. 2. Whosoever therefore resists the power. Whoever resisted man's, come on, man power. Resists the ordinance of God. They resist the ordinance of God. Come on. And they that resist shall receive to the temple damnation. You're going to die because you're resisting the ordinance of God. You're going to die. That's why when, 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 what happens is these police got something called uh, stop resisting. Stop resistance give them the right to hit you with the flashlight upside your head. Stop resisting. You're losing, buddy. Now, now your head is smushed in. Yeah. Resisting means they can pull out the pistol. Pow, 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 pow. Stop resisting. So read it again. Well, this is what happens. Watch this. The book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 2. Whosoever therefore resists the power, resists the ordinance of God. See. Because y'all, because y'all black folks go against God, that's why he allowed this wicked sword to put y'all down. 
and that's what that's why our people don't res- that's why our people don't see. Mm-hmm. That's why they don't see because y'all are a, de- a degenerate plant. Y'all are degenerate plant. Y'all ain't got no good in us. We ain't got no good in our people. We don't do nothing right. So we always gonna break God's laws. So God said, okay, I know they gonna try to follow the white man's laws some way. But when they resist his laws, I'm gonna put their butts to death. Read, watch it. And they resist. Okay, let me start over. Whosoever therefore resists the power, resists the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Put to death, watch this. For the rulers are not a terror to good work. When you do when you keep in the laws, they're not a terror to you. Watch this. But to the evil. But to the evil. Watch this. Would thou then not be afraid of the power? Will you not be afraid of the, their authority? Do that which is good. Do that which is good, meaning keep the laws of the land and keep God's laws. Read. And thou shalt have praise of the same. Say, you have praise of the same. So, these people, when God ordained them to put us to death when we get out of order. Why? We went with, because the same thing with Moses. Y'all remember when the man was collecting the, uh, uh, the, uh, firewood? Moses went to God and God said, do what? Stone Why? Because he broke the law. Because he, God made him a what? An example. How many examples do the black men need today? For, why do they keep doing the same old thing time after time after time? I mean, that's why it says, man, that's why in Jeremiah he said, I kill your children in vain. Because we don't get it. As many as our people die, we still just don't get it. We don't care. Kill us and kill me. That's depression. That's depression from being oppressed. To the point where we don't even care. Yeah. I had a lot more, but I'm going to die. I'm, we won't die. I'm going to save this class for next week. Um, yeah, I'm going to save the rest of this for next week, guys. Uh, oh, hold on real quick. Let me look at something. Make sure. <sighs> Yeah, we'll start our next week. All right, guys. Uh, Most High Christ bless. Thank y'all for joining us. Sorry about the mess up three times on the thing, but uh, on YouTube, we're going to edit it, and it's going to be one class. So thank y'all, brothers and sisters, for joining us. On that, we'll say shalom.